today's throwback. Nothing best shows the incompetence of national leadership in Nigeria since 1999 than the pump price of petrol and diesel. Since the advent of democracy in Nigeria in 1999, indeed long before, economically depressing fluctuations in the pump prices of petrol or premium motor spirit PMS and diesel or automotive gas oil AGO have been a significant concern for the citizens. The pump price of these petroleum products has seen several alterations over the years influenced by various factors, including global oil prices and poor government policies, particularly with respect to local value addition to the crude extracted from our territory, which has endorsed the infamy of being the only oil exporting nation without a functioning refinery. When democracy was restored in 1999, the pump price of PMS was relatively stable, with the government fixing it at around 20 naira per litre. However, this changed in 2000 when the government increased the price to 30 naira per litre due to the regulation of the downstream petroleum sector. This decision was met with public protest and backlash, leading to negotiations which labor unions and subsequent reductions in the price. Between 2000 and 2003, there were continued adjustments in the pump price of PMS, with the government trying to strike a balance between the market forces and the need to alleviate the burden of the citizens. Variations were made depending on the prevailing crude oil prices and the value of the Naira. However, in 2003, the pump price was further increased to 42 Naira per litre due to the government's decision to remove subsidies on petroleum products, which led to another round of protests and strikes. The subsequent years witnessed further upward and downward adjustments in the pump price of PMS, mainly due to changes in global crude oil prices. In, 20, in 2004, the price was reduced to 34 naira per litre, but by 2007, it had risen to 65 naira per litre. In 2008, global economic challenges and rising crude oil prices prompted the Nigerian government to increase the pump price to 70 naira per litre, even though the initial proposal was 120 naira per litre. In 2012, the government introduced fuel subsidy removal and implemented the deregulation policy leading to an increase in pump price of PMS to 97 naira per litre. This move triggered widespread protests across the country and eventually the government reached an agreement with labor unions to reduce the price to 87 naira per litre. In, in 2016, when global crude oil prices plummeted, the Nigerian government reduced the pump price of PMS to 86 naira 50 kobo per litre. However, the price was increased to 145 naira per litre in May 2016, reflecting a 67% increase due to the removal of oil subsidies. This drastic increase in price sparked intense public outcry and nationwide demonstrations. Consequently, the government engaged in negotiations with labor unions and reduced the price to 123 naira 50 kobo per litre. Since then, the pump price of PMS has gone stratospheric per litre, especially under the incumbent administration, where the average per litre price of petrol nationally is now around 650 naira, a somewhat manipulated price, not reflective of the subsidy, is gone, quote unquote, pricing as reflected in AGOs, which is now 1,350 naira per litre. In terms of AGO, the price has also experienced similar fluctuations over the years. In 1999, the pump price of AGO was around 11 naira per litre, and it steadily increased over time. By 2011, the price had risen to 141 naira per litre. In recent years, the price of AGO has ranged between 200 naira per litre and above. 1,000 naira per litre, subject to similar factors affecting PMS. 
It is important to note that these historical variations in pump prices are influenced by a multitude of complex factors, and governments have often faced challenges in finding the right balance between market forces, citizens' welfare, and socioeconomic considerations. The pump price of petroleum products in Nigeria remains a sensitive and evolving issue, intricately connected to global oil markets and domestic policies. In conclusion, nothing reflects the failure of national leadership, governments, and labor than the first string of the negative factors which are making Nigeria's landlords pickings as the citizens to be sleeping under the bridge. And that's it on the show tonight. I am Bola Obama.